can you buy this was the number one question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can upgrade to a professional account for, uh, we have licensing for enterprises. So let me flip it on its head. Yeah. Can we buy this as a consumer? We, we can take it maybe the, the sort of the simplified it's, version. It's Do you see this being a $40, $50, $4 app? Once we, it's we wanted to transform healthcare, so we, this is freely available online at, and on our website. So it's freely available. Yeah. Oh, that's a good price. <laughs> Yeah, you guys and Jake are in the business department. Good going. Okay. This, is, this is ecosystem thinking. We need to contribute. You need to contribute to this to help us transform and lower the barriers to all of us learning about better healthcare. So I have a bunch of things here. You said you ported thousands of digital web. So you're basically saying, guys, all these assets are already out there. We can plug them into the game in the same way that we plug things into the web. We don't have to have a department of 2,000 people writing code here. The world is writing code. Exactly. This becomes a platform for it. That's right. That's absolutely right. Ecosystem thinking. So another thing you talked about, I, I think that's just amazing, is we're struggling in the America and the world with the invisible burden of disease. If I tell you your arteries are thinning, you go, oh, yeah, right, whatever else is new. If I tell you, you know, something is wrong, you can't see it, suddenly you're making the invisible visible. That has an extraordinary potential. How soon do we think that potential could become a real tool in a doctor's office where he sits you down and goes, let me show you this artery here? So that's a question about personalization. Ideally, we would love to get to the point where the technology can take a scan of an individual and turn it almost immediately into a tool like this, or the ultrasound that we'll get of our carotid arteries upstairs could do the same thing. It could help motivate patients to make healthier behavior choices. And if I can see it, suddenly I can be afraid of it. If I'm afraid of it, maybe I'll change behavior or I can believe it's real. I know about you, when I look at x-rays, I don't see anything. Okay, it's like, what are all those lines? Yeah. Okay. So this is the 21st century and it's on the web. I had a question here about animals. How soon do you see this being done for animals? Well, uh, it's a good question. We're, we actually have built a virtual frog model already huh. and we are um, working on more and more models. We wanted to get the, the, the male and female human anatomy out there first, but we also have, we have ambitious plans to, and a lot of work cut out for us. We want to do pediatrics as well. You know, you had some beautiful poetry here, uh, a learning ecosystem for life. That's a beautiful piece of poetry. Uh, you know, the idea of translational education is another piece of poetry. Uh, there's an extraordinary amount of beauty and artwork in what you do. Do you ever just step back and just feel the awe? of the complexity of, of the human body and just look at it like a sunset and go, look at this? We're feeling the awe right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a little different. Yeah. But absolutely, yes. Uh, the, you know, the, the technology has advanced so far that it really is becoming the smallest part of the equation. And so when you get to that point, you can do amazing things and they aren't tremendously difficult. And that's the tipping point for the ecosystem having content from a thousand sources. Well, gentlemen, that was fantastic. Thank I hope you. everybody gets by in the tent to see your 3D and to feel it up close in enthusiasm because I feel it. Thank you so much Thank for you. sharing it with Thanks the TED community. Thank you.